You are the stars, and the world is watching you. By your presence, you send a message to every village, every city, every nation. A message of hope, a message of victory. The right, the right to play on any playing field, you have earned it. The right to study in any school, you have earned it. The right to hold a job, you have earned it. The right... The right to be anyone's neighbor, you have earned it. Eunice Kennedy Shriver is a pioneer who literally changed the way persons with intellectual disabilities are treated and viewed, not only in the United States, but in Africa and around the world. My mother has been a key leader in the field of intellectual disabilities. I think she has done more than any other single human being alive. And she's still striving to make sure that people with special needs are equal, are mainstreamed, are viewed as capable, are viewed as athletic, and she will not rest until that is a worldwide acceptance. We had a sister, Rosemary, who was challenged intellectually, and Eunice would spend the extra time with Rosemary, teaching her and making sure that she felt included. That was a good 40 years ago, and I can't think of a positive uh, experience, really, for our special friends in those days. They had no special education. They had no special sports. It's very hard in a classroom when you're in the sixth grade to try to compete against somebody who's doing math or geography. But if you could go uh, with that same person out on a field and play a sport, uh, our special friend will excel. It was really that spirit that uh, started the uh, Special Olympics. Today, many of you will win. But even more important, I know you will be brave and bring credit to your parents and to your country. Let us begin the Olympics. Thank you. Eunice is tireless and fearless and reflects a sense of goodness. So it's very difficult for, for people to say a, a no to Eunice. After President Kennedy was sworn in, he used to joke that he feared seeing Eunice because Eunice always had an agenda. Her fingerprints are on legislation, on schools, on institutions, on perceptions, and I think most importantly on individual lives. <laughs> I know. <laughs> most of all, I see from Mr. Schreiber that I have rights. And we have a right to live 
and enjoy life to our fullest. And still today, almost three million people take part in Special Olympics. And it started with one lady who gave 48 years of her life to show the world of what we can do. I love to be with my special friends and I like to learn from them. I learn persistence, I learn guts, guts, I learn courage. This is the future. Kissing. For love, it's what, for hope, kissing. We kissing. for faith, okay. to bring peace and bring excellence to our special friends through sports.